So it's time to upgrade my personal computer. Uh, this time I've gone fairly crazy with the specs. So we've got a top end Intel CPU, Titan X graphics card, uh, SSDs everywhere. We're gonna water cool the CPU and overclock it. We're gonna try and get to five gig if we can, but we'll probably get, let's say at least 4.6, 4.7. Uh, then on top of that, we've got a fractal design case, so it looks really good. We're going to also style the cables, so all the power cables, SATA cables, everything else. Uh, we're going to clean up both the front and back of the case with some cable tidies. Um, and, you know, this is going to look a lot nicer than the last build uh, because we're doing some styling with the case as well. Uh, so let's just jump right into it. Right, so we'll start the build with the motherboard. So we just need to make some space. So let's just get this stuff out of the way. I just need this motherboard piece. So we'll start with this. So we have here the ROG Rampage Extreme motherboard. It's about the best motherboard money can buy. Uh, first thing we want to do is just get this out and put it into the case. So let's get this case open. Uh, it's a fractal design. I've not seen it yet, uh, but hopefully, I think I brought white, but the colour says black, or the colour on the case says black, so let's see what's in this. Ta-da! Ah. So we've got started, the case has now caught the motherboards in. Uh, we're gonna now chuck the CPU in. So we've got a 7980XE Intel chip. We're gonna put the SSDs in as well, uh, the graphics card and the RAM. Uh, and then we'll move on to putting the water cooler on for the CPU and then cable tidying. So let's carry on and let's just chuck this CPU in.
Uh, now for the fun part. Oh, this thing's massive. So, let's get this in. All right, so now I'm just going to install my SFP 10 gigabit Ethernet uh, card, so I've got super fast uh, networking. So we're nearly there now. The last things are the CPU cooler and the power supply. So I'm probably going to get the power supply in first, just so it's in position. Uh, then we'll chuck the CPU cooler in, because that's quite a big bulky thing. Um, and then we'll start cabling up and uh, getting all the cable tidy stuff done. Uh, so let's get to, firstly, the power supply. So it's time to unbox the, the CPU water cooler. So that's all the components fit now and installed. So all we've got to do really is connect all the cables up in here. So there's a lot of cables, uh, but the basic idea now is we're going to connect all the cables in the shortest possible runs. And we're going to connect them so they'll come out and say all these at the top here. Um, we'll connect and then pass through the grommets into the back side. So all the mess comes out the back, which you can see already are starting to happen. Um, so we will get all of the cables connected to the front and pass back through. So I've just got this uh, CPU fan cable. It's not quite long enough. Um, I want to pass it through the case and back out to look neater. Uh, so I'm just cutting up an old cable and basically extending it and soldering it together so that we can get a clean run going up and through and then back out to the CPU fan so it's a bit nicer. So this is the back all tidied up now as best we can. So we have everything in this nice mesh. Uh, we've cable tied everything together, tried to keep sort of straight horizontal and vertical lines where we can. Uh, and then the excess cable we've kept neat and we've tidied up, but then it still ends up in this void here due to the excess. 
Yeah, but that's as tidy as we've got it all. I've also put an extra four terabyte hard drive in there just so I've got more space. So here it is, this is the final build, all tidied up, all ready to go. Uh, so let's hope this powers on. Yep, so something's coming on. So we've got some lights inside. Um, I'm guessing we need the power button. There we go. You can see how much nicer this now looks with cable tidies and all the LEDs, it looks really clean. We've got to put the glass panel on which will fog things out. Uh, but overall, I'm, I'm pleased with that build. I think it looks really nice. It looks a lot better than the the boring case with no cable tidy. Uh, so it's worth cable tidying your computer if you you know you want it to look good. Uh, this would look good sitting on a desk. Um, so with that now, I'm going to install Windows, get all my stuff back on, um, and then we want to start overclocking this. Um, the 7980XE, we should be able to get, like I'm saying, 4.6, 4.7 gig, hopefully, which will really help with things like the video rendering I do. Uh, so hopefully you've enjoyed this video. Um, all the parts I've used here, the cases, all the equipment, everything will be in the description so you can buy, you know, and build this computer if you wanted, even though it's, you know, pretty expensive. Come on. <laughs> Fragile. <laughs> <laughs>